Hello, future friends. <laughs> This is going to be a fun episode. I have my little nugget with me, and I've been looking for a non-toxic paint that we can do projects together like this one. I picked a very good gesture. I picked a very good gesture. Yes, you did. And I'm getting some soap water. This is Palmolive Oxy Dish Soap from the dollar store. And I'm, and I'm wiping now. And I'm scrubbing. And I'm getting some more water. So all she's going to do is scrub this thing all the way down and then wipe it with clean water to remove any residue. I'm cleaning it. I'm cleaning the dresser. Yes, and you are doing a super job. Ahead of us starting this project together, I did sand lightly a few of the spots that were kind of gritty, but overall this piece doesn't need to be sanded because the paint adheres so well. First we take off the knobs, and then close it again. I usually just put the knobs into the drawer so I don't lose them while I'm working, and you could reuse the knobs that your piece comes with, or you could buy new ones like we did. We got ours from Amazon. They're about a dollar a piece. This is a paint. It's very safe. It's very safe for mommy and not toxic. My littlest is getting to the point where she really wants to be hands on and work with me and be out with me in the garage all the time. So I went searching for something that was non toxic because a lot of paints are non VOC, but I wanted something that was non toxic because she's still at that stage where she puts anything in her mouth, including hands. And who knows, she might chew on a paintbrush or something. So I wanted to find something that we could do projects together and not have to worry. I'm opening it. What the? Stir, stir, stir. Mm -hmm. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. The paint is very thick. Like pudding. I roll it, roll it, roll it. I roll it, I roll it, I roll it. More rolling. A little bit of brushing. More rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. More brushing, brushing, brushing. More rolling, rolling, rolling. Mommy's helping me. Since we're doing this project together, she doesn't mind when I go in with the high density foam roller. I'm using a six inch high density foam roller from um, either Walmart or Home Depot, wherever I'm at and buy one. And it just smooths the whole thing out. And after she's done with each section, we work by sections, then I go in with the roller over the whole section to smooth everything out. Oh no, great job. Look at me go. Go, 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 go. I'm going, 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 going. Beep, ba -dum, bump, bump, ba -dum. I need two coats of paint. The color we're using is called Toasted Marshmallow, and it's basically like a tan mixed with a gray, and that's such a great color for any beginner to start with, is a, a neutral, grayish, warm brown, you know, tan color, khaki, something in that range is going to sell really quickly. It's going to blend in with your decor very easily. It's a nice neutral without having to go for white.
This is the clear coat. I call it about myself. I'm pour it. I put it all. This is my sponge. I put the sponge grass. Big stretch. Long stretch. You're doing great. This sponge was such a great find also at the dollar store. It was in the automotive section. I think it's for like applying wax on your car, but it works really great. And you guys know my trick also, I use the high density foam roller if I don't have one of these little sponges and I just pull it straight across. You can see from some of my other videos, it's a great way to avoid streaks. I was amazed by how well Little Nugget did with um, applying the top coat and it didn't get streaky. Um, we had to kind of work quick and there were times where I had to swoop in and just keep things moving along before it dried up on us. But overall, I really thought that this was going to be the part where the project fell apart and it just didn't. And it was cool that she really understood that there were steps that she had to do in order to finish the dresser. It wasn't just like clean and paint. It was clean, paint, two coats of paint, and then clear coat. I was just so impressed the entire time we were doing this because this is literally our first time doing a project together where she actually picked it out and we did every step together and I was just so impressed by how much I felt like she was learning and stuff. Definitely something I want to keep doing with her because it was just so educational and she absorbed so much. Um, I just was blown away. I really didn't expect it to go as well as it did. So now you can see I'm on my own to finish up the clear coat because she found a spider and is off to the side. But I think that's pretty darn good for a three-year-old to pick out a dresser, paint it, clear, paint it two coats, clear coat it, and then she does help me um, stage it and, uh, and install the hardware here in the rest of the video too. So stick around. Um, super cute. Um, these are the hardware that we got off Amazon. They're about a dollar a piece if you buy like a pack of, I don't know what it is, 20 or something like that. I'll link it. I'm going to put the new handles on. I, I put it on new handles. Flowers on the flowers on. I see that smile on your face. You told me about the hidden place, something in the atmosphere. You're always here, you always say, Time to laugh and time to heal. My favorite song is on. My games fit inside. Yay! Quick reminder of the before from Goodwill Little Nightstand into, voila, Little Nugget's favorite toy storage dresser that she gets to tell everyone she did design and paint all herself so pretty cool project thanks for watching see you in the next one bye, bye.